let's have a look at the lights on this tiny receiver here. You can see we got it starts off with constant green flashing and then dims away. So with the receiver, you've got just the AFHDS, not the AFHDS 2A. You change that by going down to receiver setup, and you turn the AH, AFHDS 2A off. Turn off your transmitter, hold your bind button down and turn your transmitter on. And it'll say binding, you don't have to keep holding the bind button down. So now I'll just plug in the battery. You can see this light's changed now, it's just a, a solid green. That means it's bound. So I'll turn my transmitter off. You can see the light's gone off now, so it's not bound. Turn my transmitter on, we've got a nice solid green light. So we're bound and ready to go. So now you now you've bound it, every time you turn it on, it goes back into that binding mode you had before, a little flash. So it pays not to have somebody around with other RC equipment. And it pays to uh, plug it again. Always have your transmitter turned on before you plug in the unit. See? So it's bound. If I have the um, I plug, plug in the receiver, no transmitter on, it goes through, won't bind. If I turn the transmitter on afterwards, now I'll accept it as bound. But I, I recommend having the transmitter always turned on beforehand. <laughs>